In the modern society of smart devices, a fair question arises, how does a person exchange products of labor with a machine? Act directly, or with the help of large technology companies specializing in this? Let's consider the following example, there is a residential complex. People would like to install a vending machine making coffee there. Let's imagine that people who live in the residential complex simply pay rent for such a vending machine to a corporation whose employees monitor the water level, quality of coffee and machine's technical condition. The end price of coffee for the residential complex will provide not only existence of workers who will serve this machine, but also a large corporation represented by accountants, lawyers, directors and investors. Besides these costs, additionally, we get global economic and social risks. And now let's imagine that the residents of the complex buy a self-service vending machine in an engineering company. Right after the vending machine installed in the residential complex, it will be able to control coffee and water purchase by itself and pay for electricity by itself as well. Of course, such a vending machine can have some difficulties now as we still don't have markets of goods for robots. Today the only way is to connect all sides taking part in the vending machine life manually, but then we will see a centralized system that controls vending machines. This has no differences from the initial problem. We need a decentralized network of human to robot commodity relations. To conclude, for the effective use of robots, it is necessary to build economic relations, as it was done centuries before us, only now not between different groups of people, but between people and the machines.